is Mark from Surfrock Studios and welcome to another Logic tutorial. Today we're going to turn a guitar into a bass sound. Now as you know on this channel we tend to focus on a lot of guitar related approaches within Logic and this tutorial is going to be no different um, but the technique I'm about to show you can apply to uh, any of your melodic monophonic instrument uses out there. So whether you're a vocalist or whether you are flute or violin player, or whatever, as long as there is one note at one time, Logic can help you out. And we'll be able to convert any audio signal into MIDI. And of course with MIDI, we can make it any sound we want. We can even do drums if we want to. We can drive a car if we want to, make lights flash. You can do whatever you want with MIDI, as long as you have a device listening to it that understands your signals. So, um, let me show you how we do it in Logic. So here we go. I have a audio channel set up, which is I've called Guitar Fake Bass, because we're going to start with a guitar and we're going to fake a bass, all right? So nothing fancy about that apart from the name, and it's purely just an audio channel listening to audio channel one on my Sapphire Pro 40. Input one, which is set to instrument, because I'm going to be using my tally here to input the melody I want to turn into a bass. So this is my guitar tone right now. I don't have any amps running. It's purely just the output of the pickups straight into the front of my interface. I'm using the bridge pickup, a slightly brighter sound. I find logic responds a little bit better. Um, but uh, let's record our melody line in and then we'll start to the converting. So here we go. Two, three, four. So there's our bass line. Now, I would say that that is an octave too high for a bass. It doesn't sound very bright. It doesn't sound very boomy and bassy at all. But let's just analyze what we've got here. It's got the notes. It's got the rhythms. It's got the performance. That's what I want to capture here. So now let's go about converting this into MIDI. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to use flex pitch. Now, there's many ways to turn on flex pitch, but we need to get the data from it. So uh, we're going to go and double click on the region. And uh, you may find that if you've been using flex, it might already be turned on. Uh, you might find that it opens in that window, which is in file. We need to be in the track window. OK, so um, I'm going to turn on flex pitch there and I'm just going to close down my uh, information tab on the left hand side. Give us a bit more space just so we can see it. Now, you might find flex pitch is already highlighted, but if you just re highlight it, you'll find that it analyzes your audio and it will put all these boxes in, which just look like the piano roll, because that's exactly what it is. And if I shrink this down, we can see that we have my melody line in MIDI. OK, if you find that just it doesn't um, the, the MIDI data doesn't appear for you like that, you can also go to this edit window on the left hand side and go down to analyze audio for flex editing. All right. So that will also produce your MIDI line. Now, with the audio, this is how you can go about manipulating flex time. But we're not going to be doing any manipulation in audio. We're just purely going to extract that and then start manipulating anything that we may need to manipulate in MIDI. So we simply go back to that edit menu and we go down to one lower than analyze audio for flex editing. We just see create MIDI track from flex pitch data. Perfect. Let's click that and we'll see just at the top here that we have a generic default um, MIDI channel set up and then we get our region with our notes. OK, so let's just get rid of this piano roll down here and we can see that. Now I'm going to mute the original audio and I sure. Well, I want a bass sound. Now that's a piano sound. Now we could just listen to it in piano. We can tell that the melody line is there. Timing is a little bit off. Tone is completely not what I want. I'm going to actually start editing things with the sound that I kind of want. OK, so I'm just going to go into my library. I'm going to switch back to get to the bass menu and I'm going to choose thumb bass. So here we go. I can hear the notes are there. The performance is kind of there. There's a couple of glitches with some of the timing of the notes, etc., where it's uh, 
analyze things slightly incorrectly, but of course it's MIDI, so we can just go and fix it easy. I'm just gonna quantize a lot. Okay, so there's a couple of notes in there that I would change. I would change this one here and I would change that one there. Extend that note out. I think there's a double note in there. Yep, so we've got a slight glitch there. Let me just. Okay, so that is pretty easy to have done. We've just purely put in an audio signal. We've put it into flex. We've extracted the MIDI. We've got MIDI. We've changed the MIDI sound to a sound which is closer to what we want to produce. I wanted to get a bass guitar sound from a guitar. That's a bass guitar sound closer than anything I could ever try and achieve by uh, altering the bass or the, the signal of the guitar by pitch shifting and stuff like that. That is a bass guitar sample. So uh, that's as close as we can get it to it. Of course, then I can use that signal and I can go and run that through something else, whether I want to reamp it, whether it be in logic, I can go through the bass tones, I can do anything I want, but I have a much better representative source audio signal to work with. So there we go, that is how you can convert audio into MIDI and get your guitar to sound like a bass guitar. Very easy really, once you know how. So only a few clicks and it's done. Right, remember we have a load more tips and tricks guides and logic tutorials on our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Please write a comment in the comments section below. It would be fantastic to hear from you. And if there's any other sort of aspect in logic and the guitar related world that you might need some help with, just jot it down and send it to us and see if we can do some future videos that help you out in different ways. I'll be Mark, Safrock Studios, see you later. Thank you.